the BMW i5 gets more range for 2025. Here's what's new. Hey there, and welcome back to EVpedia, your go-to source for all things electric mobility. Before we dive into today's exciting update, let's make sure you're all set. Take a moment to hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and leave a comment below to share your thoughts. And if you love what we do and want to show extra support, don't forget to tap that super thanks button. It really helps us keep bringing you the latest EV news. Now, stick around till the end because we've got some big updates on BMW's latest efficiency improvements. And trust me, you won't want to miss a single detail. Let's jump right in. More range and faster charging. BMW steps up its game. If you've been following the BMW i5, you probably know it's a fantastic mix of performance, luxury, and electric efficiency. But one of the biggest gripes has been its range. It just wasn't quite enough to compete with some of the longer-range options out there. Well, it looks like BMW has been listening to the feedback, because for the 2025 model year, the i5 lineup is getting a significant range boost, thanks to a series of clever efficiency improvements. Starting in March 2025, BMW will be rolling out updates across the i5 lineup, tweaking multiple aspects of the vehicle to squeeze out even more miles from every charge. These changes will result in an efficiency improvement of about 8 to 9%, which translates to a WLTP rated range increase of up to 29 miles, 47 kilometers, depending on the model. While we're still waiting for the official EPA ratings, it's safe to assume that U.S. versions of the i5 will also benefit from these improvements. Unfortunately, for those hoping to see the i5 Touring wagon arrive in the U.S., there's still no word from BMW. So for now, it remains a Europe exclusive. How BMW achieved the extra range. So, how exactly did BMW manage to boost the i5's efficiency without increasing battery size? Well, it all comes down to smarter engineering and optimized components that make better use of every bit of stored energy. One of the biggest upgrades comes from the power electronics, where BMW has switched to silicon carbide semiconductors. Now, if that sounds like complicated tech jargon, here's why it matters. These new semiconductors improve thermal performance operate at higher voltages, and reduce power loss, meaning the high-voltage systems inside the i5 can function more efficiently. In simple terms, the car wastes less energy and delivers more miles per charge. But that's not all. BMW is also introducing low-rolling resistance tires and new aerodynamic wheel designs, both of which play a major role in reducing energy consumption. When you pair these with the car's optimized wheel bearings, which minimize power loss as the wheels spin, the result is a noticeable increase in real-world driving range. Of course, there's always the question of how these new efficiency-focused tires will impact the i5's famously sharp handling, but that's something we'll have to see in real-world driving tests. Now, let's talk numbers. The single-motor i5 eDrive 40, when equipped with the new 19-inch aerodynamic wheels, achieves a WLTP rated electricity consumption of 18 to 17.9 kilowatt-hours per 100 kilometers which translates to roughly 3.45 to 3.47 miles per kilowatt hour. Meanwhile, the dual-motor i5X Drive 40 gets a slightly higher rating of 19.5 to 19.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which equals about 3.19 to 3.20 miles per kilowatt hour. These numbers may sound small, but in the world of EVs, every efficiency gain counts, and these upgrades amount to a solid 8 to 9% improvement compared to the previous models. Of course, it's important to remember that WLTP estimates are generally more optimistic than EPA ratings, so we'll have to wait and see how these numbers translate to real-world driving. But one thing's for sure, BMW is making smart improvements that should make longer drives easier and charging stops less frequent. The iX also gets a boost, and plug-in hybrids charge faster. BMW isn't just focusing on the i5. These efficiency upgrades are also making their way to the BMW iX crossover. The 2026 iX has been given a mild styling refresh to keep it looking modern, but more importantly, its big battery version now delivers an EPA-rated 340 miles of range, up from 307 miles. That's a 10% efficiency improvement, making the 9 a more compelling option for drivers who prioritize range. But what about plug-in hybrid PHEV owners? Well, BMW has good news for them too. Starting in March 2025, the automaker will be upgrading the onboard chargers in several of its plug-in hybrid models, including the X1, 2 Series Active Tourer, 7 Series, and the High Performance XM SUV. The new onboard chargers will support 11 kilowatts charging, up from the current 7.4 kW units, which means significantly shorter charging times for PHEV drivers. 
While BMW hasn't provided exact figures on how much faster charging will be, we can estimate that a model like the X1 plug-in hybrid, which currently takes around 2.5 hours to fully charge its 18-kilowatt-hour battery, could see that time drop to under 2 hours. Faster charging for plug-in hybrids is a welcome change, making them even more convenient for daily use. Final thoughts. A step in the right direction. So, what do you think of BMW's latest updates? It's clear that the 2025 i5 and 2026 iX are getting some meaningful improvements, and while the range increases may not be massive, they show that BMW is actively refining its electric lineup to keep up with the competition. Plus, the charging upgrade for plug-in hybrids is a step in the right direction, making BMW's FEVs even more practical for drivers who aren't quite ready to go full electric. If you've stuck with us all the way to the end, we just want to say a huge thank you. Your support means everything to us. And we'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Drop a comment to let us know what you think about these upgrades. And if you want to go the extra mile, the super thanks button is there to help us keep making great content. Stay charged. Keep exploring the future of electric mobility. And we'll see you in the next video.